Hello and welcome to the John Moore YouTube channel where today I am going to be talking about the Osprey. The Osprey, also called Seahawk, Riverhawk and Fishhawk, is a fish eating bird of prey with a cosmopolitan range. Ospreys are very large, distinctively shaped hawks. Despite their size, the bodies are slender with long, narrow wings and long legs. Ospreys fly with a marked kink in their wings marking an M shape when seen from below. Ospreys are brown above and white below, and overall they are whiter than most raptors. From below, the wings are mostly white with a prominent dark patch at the wrist. The head is white with a broad brown stripe through the eye. Juveniles have white spots on the back and buffy shading on the breast. It is a large raptor reaching more than 60 centimeters in length and 180 centimeters across the wing. The osprey is a specialist feeder, relying on medium-sized fish, both marine and freshwater. The bird will fly above the water surface to locate fish, sometimes gliding and soaring up to 70 meters high. The exact catching technique varies with the type of fish, but they all involve a nearly vertical plunge dive with wings half folded and feet thrown forward at the last moment. The fish are caught in talons after a dive to a maximum depth of 1 meter. The fish is held head first like a torpedo when carried to a perch or to the nest. The long curved talons and the short spines covering the underside of the toes assist with the capture and holding of the fish. The bird is also able to close its nostrils to stop water getting up its nose during a dive. The most important habitat requirement is the presence of a large watercourses such as rivers, lakes or coastal areas. This ensures an ample supply of medium sized fish near the water surface for them to eat. Clean, unpolluted water is highly beneficial to them. In areas providing high quality habitat and good food supplies, you can get many that come together. Ospreys are believed to be largely monogamous and strongly favour both to nest and mate. The nest, Cordineri, is generally built on top of a large tree, usually a conifer, but deciduous trees are also used. In parts of their range, ospreys may nest on cliffs, ledges, coast rocks, buoys and electricity pylons. Man-made structures are used more regularly in North America than in Europe, although a small number of the Scottish ospreys nest on electricity pylons. In the second half of April, the female lays two or three eggs at a one to three day interval and incubates them for 37 days per egg. Even though chicks hatch a few days apart, Aggression and dominance by the older chick is rare. If food is short, at least the oldest chick gets enough and survive. Nest failures are most commonly caused by adverse weather conditions, food shortage, inexperience of bird nesting for the first time, and occasionally by egg collectors robbing the nest. Like most other birds of prey, ospreys divide the nesting duties clearly between the pair. The female does most of the incubating, brooding, and direct feeding of the young. She guards them throughout the nesting period and will share hunting at later stages when the chicks are larger. The male, on the other hand, is the major provider of fish for the female and young. After fledgling, at 53 days, both parents provide food for the young, which stay close to the nest for a further two months. Many juvenile birds die before they reach maturity at three years old. Those that reach breeding age can expect to live on average about eight years. The oldest known wild osprey was 32 years old. Ospreys have few natural enemies. If the eggs and the young, sometimes even adults, especially incubating females, are victims of predators, they are snatched from their nests by owls under the cover of darkness. Eagles are another avian threat to ospreys. Ospreys and eagles do not get along. Even though ospreys, especially the males, fiercely defend their nests, a determined raccoon fox, skunk or similar land predator might raid the nest to steal eggs or chicks. Ospreys tend to avoid these perils by building their nests on isolated spots such as islands, secluded trees or on top of man-made structures such as the Taj Mahal. Before the presence of industrial humankind, ospreys were widespread and abundant. However, the presence of guns, chainsaws, toxic chemicals, synthetic fish nets, and other modern products have brought harm to the osprey's environment. All in all, however, ospreys have survived recent ecosystem changes very well. Being fish eaters, they were one of the many species that were affected by the use of the pesticide DDT. 
Eggshells of the Osprey became thin and weak, and reproduction was essentially extinguished. A ban on the use of this chemical in the United States led to the resurgent Osprey populations. Although the threat is gone in the US and Canada, DDT is still used in other developing countries like Venezuela, and residues continue to be present in the Osprey tissues today. Thank you very much for watching uh, this video about the Osprey. Hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, hopefully you will like and subscribe to the video, and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.